Okay, recording has started. Now if I can get the screen to There we go. So um everybody mute if you're not muted already. And I'll get started. Um okay, so Upcoming programs, uh, in two weeks, we have Rick Fleur talking about AI and Photoshop. That should be interesting. We'll be talking about uh, AI a bit later also. And then in on February 21, we have John Greger talking about American Pueblo Indian. March, Marianne Sear is going to talk to us about birds in the Arctic. And March 20th is Don Trednick talking about night photography. Competitions. Uh, in, a, in a week or so, the deadline for the N4C monthly competition is coming up and then the deadline for our salon our february salon the deadline is on the 17th of january the assignment is snow and ice uh the weather isn't cooperating <laughs> for snow and ice but uh we'll make do somehow uh and then the the annual Camera Council Interclub competition is coming up. Uh, the deadline is February 11. Don't send entries, entries before January 21st. Um, as usual, there's both a digital and a print competition. Uh, when I send out the recording of this meeting, I'll send out uh, a link to the camera council details about the rules for that. But I'm going to talk about their rules for artificial intelligence software. Uh, I highlight, I underlined a few things. So images generated entirely with AI software will not be eligible. Um, and the bottom, it basically says, well, I see, talks about you need to start with your own image. Also, you can't include someone else's image in a combined image. So they're pretty clear about this. And as I said, uh, we're hearing from Rick Floor later this month about AI and Photoshop. So he'll have some thoughts about this kind of thing as well. It's just, there's controversy about this in the photography world and elsewhere. Uh, that's what I've got. Any questions or thoughts before I turn it over? Okay. Jill, I just made you the host. You're in charge. Okay, I'm working on sharing my screen here. Does everybody see Year End Awards Western Wisconsin Photography Club? Yes. Okay, good. And I'm not going to worry. Well, everybody, welcome to our Year End Awards. Um, we submitted 150 photos to our judge to review in the five categories that we have participated in this year. Um, our judge for the year end had a big task. She had to examine all the photos that were accepted throughout the year's salons and narrow this best of the best down to three winners in each category. 
Salons give us an opportunity to showcase our work and receive individual feedback on specific image from a trained judge. And I just want to encourage all of you to participate. I'm thinking if you're here, you do participate, but maybe you can encourage others to participate. It's the I think it's the best way to improve your photography. Um, if you do attend salons in person or online, you can usually use the opportunity of our meeting to ask the judge for more feedback on his or her comments. If you want an award, you will receive a ribbon. When is the question. I know they're in transit coming to me and our next in-person meeting is in April. So they will for sure be available then. We'll work on getting them to you um, before then if possible. Okay, on to our, whoops. Try it. Why are you not advancing? Oh, here we go. Cynthia Fleury graciously agreed to judge for us for our year-end competition, our year-end awards. Um, Cynthia could not be here tonight as she has probably what I got over the Christmas uh, holiday and wasn't feeling up for um, being on Zoom tonight. So I'm going to talk for her. Cynthia has a, or Cynthia, <laughs> Cynthia. Uh, she was involved in and studied art after college as a painter in acrylics and oil. Her interest in photography started in 1998 when she realized that photography is another art form to be explored. She built a chemical black and white and color darkroom, but that only lasted a few years and she went digital in 2004. Her passion is experimental photography and creative processes and techniques such as image transfers to glass, photographic gilding, digital hand coloring, and digital painting. Cynthia is semi-retired from 35 years in the financial world and is currently a member of the Crosstown Camera Club, Texas Photography, uh, excuse me, Texas Photographic Society, Professional Photographers New York, and the National Association of Women Artists. She also has a gallery and studio in the Lens Pros Gallery number 133 in the Northrop King Building in Northeast Minneapolis. Cynthia exhibits nationally and internationally. And she recently had a solo show of gilded photography, Gilding Light. Oh, that, I'm sorry, that was a while ago. Her most recent one was at the Soho Photo Gallery in New York. Anyway, Cynthia is quite the distinguished judge. She has judged for our club before, and I really appreciate her stepping up during the holiday season to give us some good feedback. So we're going to start with the assignment category, and I'm just going to page through the images until we get to um, the awards, and then I will read, you know, the name and the sorry, the name and uh, the maker's name. I'll also read Cynthia's comments. They're going to be projected on the screen. Okay, so we're starting with assignment. These are the honorable mentions. And our third place winner is Shoot 'em Up Girl by Willie Gorham. Second place, Breakfast by David Heemsbergen. And finally, first place, Red-Eyed Tree Frog by Terry Butler. The judge 
said this was an amazing, beautiful creature in beautiful lighting not found in this climate. The composition is excellent on a perfect diagonal with the leg filling the frame and the eye of the frog on the third of the image per the rule of thirds. The image is sharp throughout, creating a strong contrast of the red, green, and white against the dark background, really making this beautiful subject stand out. Congratulations on an exceptional image, Terry. So did I leave enough space in between that you got to actually look at the pictures or should I go slower? You're good. Okay, I'm moving on to the creative category. Now, again, we'll start with honorable mentions. Okay, third place creative goes to Melissa Anderson for Hummingbird Garden Party. Second place, Hiding from the Predator, also from Melissa Anderson. And creative first place goes to City of Screws by Mike Waterman. Perfect example of Trump. I had it written down how to say this. Trump Loy, I think it is, or the Art of Illusion. These screws and staples artfully create the illusion, a city landscape scene within the clouds. The huge moon placed in the sky also adds to the scene, making it believable, if only for a second. Very creative and well done. Congratulations, Mike. We do that, Louise. Go back. Go. There. Go get another one. There's like three of them out there. Oh, I don't think she's talking to me. <laughs> Here we go. We're going on to nature. One moment, I have to. <clears throat> I can't oh, mute my mic was... from this screen. Okay, here we go. Honorable mention, nature category. Third place in nature was Up and Away by David Heemsbergen. Second place goes to Under Her Wing by Carl Wagner. 
And first place nature goes to Creatures of the Night by Mary Ann Jerks. The sharpness and vivid contrast between the light colored and detailed bats and the dark background makes this a beautiful storytelling image of bats feeding on plants that we usually don't experience. The catch light in the eyes is something that's particularly special in this image. <clears throat> Excuse me. I would never be one to say that bats are beautiful, but you did an amazing job on these creatures of the night, capturing beauty in a scene that we rarely see. Well done and congratulations, Marianne. On to our new category for the year, cell phone. Starting again with honorable mentions. Cell phone third place goes to Great Fountain Geyser by Melissa Anderson. Second place, Baby Kitten by Ricky Van Dyke. And first place, a twofer for you, Ricky, Roxy by Ricky Van Dyke. It's all about those amazing blue eyes. The light blue eyes stand out and match the snow in the background. The exposure was perfectly executed in a challenging situation of white. The depth of field captures every detail in the image. The composition is perfectly centered and works for this very sweet, simple subject. Congratulations, Ricky. On to pictorial. These are the honorable mentions in the pictorial category.
Okay, pictorial third place goes to West Bearskin by Anne Rinkenberger. Second place, Seen from a Wedding by Fred Vodka. And pictorial first place goes to Catching Raindrops by Fred Sabatka. Another two for. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to look up the comments on that one. There's a reason I do printouts, and this is why. Beautiful lighting. The contrast of the lights against the dark background with a touch of red in the makeup and gold and silver in the chains and jewelry adds a lot of impact. The artful capture of the raindrops or water pouring on the spoon gives motion and a story. It's perfectly composed and a winner. Congratulations, Fred, and congratulations, everyone. Uh, this definitely was the best of the best. And I love looking at everyone's images and uh, learning so much from judge comments on these images. That's all I've got. Thanks for your participation. I can't wait to see what you'll do this year. Remember, our next deadline is in two weeks for your uh, for the salon. And the, um, the topic, I believe, is ice and snow. Steve mentioned it at the beginning. But yep. look on the website. Right. The website is a perfect uh, place to get all the information you need. Okay, now how do I give this back to you, Steve? I stop sharing. Can yep. you just take it back? Um, let's see. If you have to, I don't know. Does anybody have questions, comments, complaints? I lost my chat button, so I can't see if anybody's typing in chat. There it is. Is that all we have then for tonight? That was the fastest meeting we've ever yeah. had. Yeah, it's a record for sure. Yeah. So everybody can enjoy their evening. Thanks, everybody. See you in a couple of weeks, hopefully. Yeah. Sounds uh, good. I'm going to end the meeting. All right. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. It's still asking me to assign. I mean, I can't assign it. I'm just going to. It's asking me to assign a new host, but you're not on the list, Steve. Can you end it from there? Oh, he left. Okay. Never mind. Go away, everyone. Thank you.